I'm State Representative Marco Leas from the 21st District in Snohomish County, and we're in the Legislative Gift Center here at the Capitol Building in Olympia. Uh, we actually just uh, established the gift center in the last couple of years, and last year was their first full year of operations, and they had uh, over $130,000 in sales. And even in this tough economy, they tell us that the sales are even better this year, so things are going well here at the gift center. Has uh, the legislature passed anything this year that directly affects the gift center? Yeah, we have. Well, already you see we have a lot of products from across the state that are featured here. Uh, and this year the House passed a bill, which is over in the Senate now, uh, that would allow them to sell wine here at the gift center since Washington is uh, the second largest producer of wine in the country and we've done a lot of investing as a state we wanted to showcase our wine industry uh, here at the gift center so hopefully you can already buy wine bags and wine glasses so hopefully in a few months you can actually buy some exquisite Washington wines here as well. House of Origin cutoff just happened and the House has been passing a lot of bills. What are some other uh, pieces of legislation that have passed the House that affect small businesses? We've done a lot to try and help our small businesses through this tough economy. One of the most important things I think we did was through the unemployment bill. Uh, we passed an unemployment reform bill and we, we expanded the shared leave program so that small companies that are having a difficult time meeting payroll could actually potentially put their employees partially on unemployment and also keep them. So if a small company really doesn't need an employee full time but still needs help rather than laying that person off like they might be forced to, they could put them partially on unemployment. So I think that's going to help businesses make that decision and, and try and keep employees where they can and, you know, and try and also survive at the same time. And what about for, um, to help them get access to state contracts or that's right. additional capital if they need to expand? We're trying to provide as much help as we can to help these businesses stay healthy and grow. And one of the things we did was create a link deposit program so small businesses can actually access capital. Uh, it's kind of a complicated formula, but basically by depositing state funds in certain banks, we're able to link the interest off of those state funds to help uh, provide capital to small businesses. We also are trying to streamline uh, access by our small businesses to state contracts. Obviously the state buys, you can see around us, a lot of wonderful things. Uh, and then just in our everyday work, pens and paper and all the sorts of things that we need to run state government. And so trying to provide opportunities for small businesses to compete on those I think is important. One thing that we hear a lot about is that sometimes it's hard for small businesses to uh, be successful because there's a lot of red tape or paperwork yeah. that they have to go through um, from the state. Has the legislature done anything to sort of help cut through that red tape? Yeah, you know, actually I ran a small business and it's not that once you get going you don't get used to the paperwork, you don't get used to the filings you have to do, but sometimes in the beginning you don't necessarily know all the deadlines and you might miss a deadline just by accident or, or as things are getting started up maybe you don't always have the money uh, to make that initial payment right on time and so uh, what we said is the first time violation, a, a bill that we passed this year that is, we said that that first time violation uh, you wouldn't actually be subject to the full penalties, that we'd sort of forgive you the first time, help educate you on what the requirements are, uh, rather than dinging our small companies right from the gate, uh, trying to help them succeed and understanding that sometimes as you're creating a small company you've got a lot of things on your mind and maybe you need a little bit of help that first time. So trying to create a more friendly climate and in fact uh, US News and World Reports has just reported that we are the number one place to start a business and I think uh, trying to create that positive business friendly climate is what we're, what we're aiming to do, especially as the economy is so difficult. The reality is a lot of people right now are out of jobs and so we want to help them you know take that great idea they've had in their mind uh, about a small company that they think they could be good at and give them the climate here where they could actually start that and get our, our state moving again. Just like our legislative gift shop is a small business idea that we started here in the Capitol building, uh, we'd like to allow folks across the state to take their great ideas and make them reality. You have a, a town hall and education forum coming up. Can you talk a little bit about what that will be like? Yeah, this Saturday at Serene Lake Elementary, we're doing an education briefing from 10 to 11 in the morning. And then from 11 to noon, we'll have an open, sort of open mic uh, question and answer on issues before the legislature this year. And so really hope that people from the community come out, uh, tell Representative Roberts and Senator Shin, tell all of us about the, the issues that are important to them. 
So you think you're going to do some shopping here? Yeah. Well, actually, we uh, we saw that there's some wonderful knitted hats from Linwood. So, you know, maybe pick up some local stuff from our neck of the woods and some wonderful uh, Washington State Ferry uh, gear as well. Uh, so I think that uh, definitely some good opportunities here. Encourage people to come to the legislative building and patronize this great store and, and help celebrate Washington.